Hey guys, it's Havasu Lou out in beautiful Lake Havasu. Hope you're having a great day so far. We're on our way to check out a, a four bedroom, four bath uh, pool home. Just got reduced. We're going to go check it out for a client. Hang out with us and check it out too. And I'll talk to you in a minute. Right, guys we're out here at 2911 corral drive this is a great north side neighborhood literally just houses away from open desert trail access all real nice homes around Go on in and check it out. So it's got this high uh, double door entry. All right, guys, so this is a four bedroom, four bath, built in 2004, 2,601 square feet. It's got a real nice entryway. Double-sided fireplace, integrated speakers, has a nice split floor plan, vaulted ceilings with can lights, has two master suites, would make a killer little vacation rental setup as it comes fully furnished. Kind of a nice little formal type dining area. Kitchen has a granite eat at counter. Stainless appliances. All right, let's go check out the master behind the kitchen here down this hallway you also have your indoor laundry down this way we'll go check out in a minute so you got the master huge master bedroom bolted ceilings got french doors out to the backyard patio and pool area So you have a real nice master bath with under lights. I don't know if you can see that. Real nice granite counters. Nice little etched edges on this. Soaker tub. Walk-in shower. It's got a big walk-in closet with a skylight. This is a nice closet for sure. All right, let's go check out the other side of the house. All right, so you have the other three bedrooms down the other side of the house in a split floor plan layout. So this is number, bedroom number two at the front of the house. All right, you got your guest hallway bath with dual sinks, nice tiled shower. Got some storage in here as well. All right, you have bedroom number three, kind of in the middle of the house. It's basically the first room you hit off the hallway. It's set up with bunk beds right now. You got a little storage closet. 
And this is bedroom number four, the rear of the house. This is also a junior master suite. So it has its own bathroom. So this would also probably be like the pool bathroom as there is a door to the outside pool area. It's got tiled sink, walk-in shower. We'll go out and check out the backyard. So you got your indoor laundry off the kitchen on your way to the garage. All right, you have this two car garage that's 32 feet deep. Eight foot doors, insulated. They've put a partition wall between the other garages. So it'd make a really nice setup for like an owner garage. So if you had to turn this into a vacation rental, you could lock up your side, keep your stuff in here and still give the renters access to the garage. So you have another garage over here that's kind of a one car garage. It's 14 feet wide, also 32 feet deep with an eight foot door. This does have uh, air, compressed air outlets everywhere. Also has your, your 50 amp built in uh, storage. Little utility sink. Also has a toilet back here in the garage. Okay, so this one's also partitioned off. This is a 70 foot deep RV garage. Has a 13 foot door, just one foot shy of a double RV garage, 19 feet wide opening. To be considered a double wide, it has to be at least 20 feet, but I'm gonna assume it would still be a double RV garage. So you got compressed air over here as well, all the way down the wall. Here's your RV clean out, 50 amp. It's got dual clean outs actually. A metal roll up rear door and a man door to the backyard pool area that we'll go check out right now. All right, so it's got a nice backyard patio, built-in barbecue and fridge, little built-in bar area. Also has ceiling fans and integrated speakers as well. The pool and cool decking looks to be real nice. Nice little beach entry or Baja shelf. Hot tub. The house is on propane, so it would be used for this uh, heater as well as I saw it plumbed into the hot water heater. It's about 80 degrees out here in Havasu today. So that's your Double doors out of the master right there. Nice little fire pit area. So you can open up this uh, drive through bay and make it an outdoor living area and bring uh, some of that outside in. Make it a little man cave or something on the inside, game room, bar setup. That's what a lot of people do. All right guys, Havasu Lou back again with you. Hope you enjoyed that quick little video walk through the house over here on Corral Drive. Uh, again, this place is fully furnished. It would make a great vacation rental if that's something you're looking to pick up. You can just kind of move right in and get it all set up and you're good to go. Uh, I'll put a direct link to the listing detail uh, page right below this video so you can see all the original listing pictures, current price, availability, etc. Also put a direct link to my contact detail. So if there's any questions or if there's anything I can do to help, you just let me know. I'm always here. You guys have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon.